What is going on, my sexy, succulent subscribers? No, I did not get back sick. That's not why. I didn't make a video yesterday. Now, you guys know my internet's fucked up, but long story short, they're not coming out until the 4th, so I'm still uploading everything off of my data. And if you know how iPhones work and Verizon works, you know if you go over your data, they charge you like a ridiculous amount. So, yeah, the only reason I'm uploading videos is because I have to get some stuff out there. I don't want you guys to think I'm dead, but I had to do that Tokyo, not Tokyo Ghoul, but, uh, fairy tale review earlier today man i had to do that i said fuck that i don't care if i get charged i'm going to get this review out if you read fairy tale you know why but i'm also going to do that with this video but um there's some other videos that i've already recorded that probably aren't going to get out until the fourth like death parade and tokyo ghoul both chapters they came out relatively close to each other or am i just late i don't know but tokyo ghoul re came out i mean there's a lot of stuff but yeah it just sucks man it just seems like one thing keeps happening like like one after another and it's just uh, i don't know what's going on anymore but anyway so yeah this video is already going to cost me like a million dollars to upload um i'm not sure how close i am to my data because i only have like eight or ten gigabytes i forgot and it's really close. Like, I got a notification on my phone saying I've already used up 75. So, I still have a good 25 left. So, yes, I can do math. You know, I'm I'm a smart guy. You know, 2 plus 2 is 21. But, yeah, so, I'm, so for the sake of data, I'm going to try to keep this vlog short. I'm sorry. But um, there's one question I really wanted to answer. Um, this guy named Nagachi Uchiha. Yes, that is a very uh, interesting name. Anyway, he basically says he's going to start his own channel, but he has stage fright. And he wants to know my opinion and what I can do, or what he should do to overcome the stage fright and whatnot. Now, personally, I've never actually had stage fright, so I really can tell you. Like, I've never had a problem getting up and speaking in front of people. And... I, I would think that it would be different speaking to a camera since, you know, no one else is in the room with you. Granted, people are going to be watching whatever you record, but still, I would think that would be like a different feeling. But then again, I've never had stage fright, so I can't really say. But honestly, I can say that if you are looking to make videos on YouTube, do what you want, do what you like. Don't go into it looking for a job or don't go into it looking to be the next big thing because if you go in like that you're going to be disappointed because no one starts off just skyrocketing well some lucky people do like it's a dime a dozen but i would just say just do you man i mean regardless of how you review or what type of videos you put up someone's going to like it even if you just like staring into the camera just without saying anything, you'll have some people that like this stuff. I'm not kidding. There are actually some videos of some Japanese girl just staring into the camera, not saying a word, and she gets like hundreds of thousands of views and like over a million views a day. Her channel has like 30 million views. I was like, what? Just by staring into a camera? Anyway, that aside, I guarantee whatever you like to talk about, however your style is, whatever your humor is, there's someone else out there like you. So just... Don't be afraid to to just just give the world you. Just give everyone you. And that's that's really all you can do. Just be yourself. I know this sounds like something you hear everywhere, like in every anime, every speaker that comes to your school or whatnot, but it's true, man. Just be yourself. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks. And like I said, I guarantee there'll be people that just love you for who you are and love what you do because there's going to be someone that's interested in the same thing as you are now i'm not sure if i tackled stage fright because i don't really understand well i understand the concept of being you know stage frightened i guess but like i said i've never experienced that so um i would just say talk to the camera like you would talk to your friend like say if you're reviewing anime or if you're like doing a let's play or something Pretend your best friend is there and the camera is the best friend. Communicate with it how you would communicate with him. And I guarantee people will like your videos better than you reading off of a paper and sounding all robotic and stuff. 
like you know this is what happened this chapter i liked it it was good you know uh naruto fucked hanata stuff like that you know people may like that part but still you know what i mean um don't just say exactly what happened because people have read the manga or read watched the anime or whatever you're reviewing probably before they watch your review so don't just recap what happened you know put your own little spice in it you know but as far as the stage fright thing goes, just know that you're doing it for you. And if it's something you want to do, go for it. You shouldn't let anyone else talk you out of it. And it's been five minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. But um, is there anything else I wanted to say? But nope, everything else in my life is going right. I feel great, as you guys can hear. My throat is not hurting anymore. The puppies are doing okay. I'm going to be able to get them in a safe place. I won't have to get rid of them. And we're supposed to be moving sometime soon. I cannot wait to get out of this house. Have like, oh my God, like this house is falling apart. It may look beautiful, but it's falling apart. There's so many wrong things wrong with it. Part of it is because this house was on a spring, like, and there's like a lot of water damage and people don't want to come out and it's like, oh, you did the bullshit. You shouldn't have moved on a house with a spring under it. And I'm like, that's not how insurance is supposed to work. But anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, if you're a guy, wrap it up. If you're a girl, shake your tits. And I am out of here. Give me a hug, guys. Give me a great big old hug. Don't worry. I took a shower and I have deodorant on so it doesn't smell in there. And goodbye. Mwah.